This is Marco with MacFlies at Tailwater Outfitters. And today, you're gonna to learn to tie the stunner shrimp. All right, so we're starting out with the Uncle Flats hook, size two. Uh, I like this hook, the new X-Series is very sticky. All right, so we're gonna start out with 210, uh, a tannish color, something kind of natural this is going to be orange and tan so you can do this with orange thread you could do it with tan thread um, i usually just kind of stick with the more natural colors our first material we're going to use is the arctic fox hair so we're going to use about that much kind of go from here and we're going to do is as you can see these kind of have these under furs and these long guard hairs. What I like to do is I'll take this, you could take like a lice comb or something of that sort, but I kind of just grab these tips and loose, loosely pull these out because if you end up pulling too tight, you're going to pull all the threads off, out of your fingers. All right, so kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, if you want, you can keep, keep them in there. And what you can do is take one end of the scissors, kind of just run your scissors through there as you can see, all that under fur is starting to get them. come out a little bit. Take that, throw it in the trash, whatever you do with it. And then on this, this is the size of the Arctic Fox. This is kind of how much I want. So you could say if you started at the hook point, you kind of go to the end. I say, you know, just hanging off like a little bit, maybe an inch. We're going to tie that in. Do a couple of securing threads. Kind of cinch it down. All right. Tie that off. All right. Clean this up a little bit. Next thing you're going to use is the UV Polar Schneel Copper UV. So this stuff looks like a ball of flash. Kind of try and find the end pieces. They usually keep them on the tops, so you can grab this. You see how this? All these fibers kind of look a little, little much out here what I like to do is just kind of peel back the ones that are like stragglers and I'll grab the tip into this and I'll kind of slide my fingers this way um, we're gonna do just a couple of wraps of this stuff we don't want too much flash this already has a lot kind of clean up this area and then we're gonna do one turn two turns three turn and come up and what I like to do is kind of separate those fibers and then I'll grab with my other fingers just keep it up and I'll throw the thread over do one do two and then I'll pull this back and kind of like tie onto itself as you can see like this okay and just take some scissors cut that off Toss the side. All right, so now we're gonna kind of clean it up. And by this point, really, you don't really want too, too much. Kind of clean it up, pull these fibers back. And by this point, you should be kind of like a little bit in front of the um, point of the hook. And we're gonna take some, some legs. I like these Grizzly Flutter legs and the uh, black bar, fluorescent orange. They look good. They look great in the water. Um, if you want, you can kind of just tie in some orange legs, whatever you kind of feel is right. Um, sometimes I'll do the uh, pearl to orange tip ones. Um, just kind of whatever really floats your boat. All right, so tie in one side. If you're looking at it, you should be at like a V like this. Kind of like that, okay? So then do two threads over, and then you're going to pull this side of the legs kind of just run it down its side you kind of want to like caddy it away don't do this completely kind of away so when you do another thread over it kind of traps that and it'll generally be about the same side or the same angle as the other one and then you gotta have these kind of clean this up a little bit okay and then what I like to do is I'll take these and right about 
where that flash ends is where I kind of want the the um, legs to be cut. Okay, right there. All right, next step, we're gonna tie in some foxy brush. Go in. I like to tie on top. Some people do sides. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the core of the brush in the middle of the hook, kind of running down the hook. You come up, do one, two, three, kind of clean up a little bit. And then I'll take this and I'll palmer, kind of brush all these fibers away. So what that does is just helps kind of not trap the um, foxy brush on over itself. So then as you see, I kind of do down and I don't want, I kind of want, I don't want it splayed out, but I don't want it too bulky. So I'm only going to really use about two wraps of this stuff. There's one, this is kind of one and a half in a way. So then I'll separate these fibers again, throw the thread over. Okay. Take your bad pair of scissors. Then you'll end up with this tag end right here. So you got to be careful because if you don't do what I'm about to do, you could possibly cut your thread. Then you got to re um, rethread the fly and everything. So you kind of want to mash this down, you know, kind of hard sometimes. All right, do this and then just be careful going over it. All right, clean it up. You can take your, your end of your scissors right here. Kind of make sure there's nothing trapped. Or you can take a lice brush, whatever you feel is right. All right. Kind of clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to go almost to the hook uh, eye. I don't want to go directly on it, but I don't want to go too far away from it. And what we're going to do in, do now, sign in some just plain lead dumbbell eyes. Nothing too fancy, you know, you can, you can throw on some double pupil, you can throw on some bead chain, whatever you feel. And then we're going to do this, do a couple threads over, I like to do like six, seven, whatever you feel. And then I'm going to go to the other side, do the same thing, and I'm going to do some wraps around. And at this point you could kind of, you could glue it in if you'd like. I don't, I'm not a, I don't, I use glue sometimes, you know, kind of whatever. And then I got a couple threads wraps around. I'm just going to X wrap it here now. His eyes should be in there pretty good. Like I said, you can take some glue, you can not take glue, you know, whatever you feel. Now the next one, Woolly Critter in the tan. This stuff's great. Um, what this stuff does kind of, you can just leave it in the water column kind of sitting there and what these little legs will do is kind of push water or the water will push these legs around and kind of make them move kind of lively looking buggy looking something like that so we're going to tie this in I snipped off the end piece we're going to go tie this in it's kind of the same way as the foxy brush kind of just be careful of that wire okay clean it up a little bit then I'm going to go to the, the front and right before the front I'm just going to swing it over swing the thread over and what we'll do, same thing, Palmer, kind of pull this stuff back. So this stuff is a little bit shorter, so it makes it a little bit harder. So you kind of just got to be careful with it as well. Um, you don't want it go directly on itself, because then it becomes a little too bulky. And then what we'll do is one through three. And then you'll kind of run into the dumbbell eyes, throw it over again, one more. And what you could do is roll, fling this fly over and you can tie it in right here. What I like to do is I'll just go over it one more time. Kind of makes it hard to rub, it'll rub against the dumbbell eye on this side. And then, oh, sometimes it traps over. It doesn't always stay, obviously when I flipped it it won't. So what you do is this, kind of switch sides. All right, so what that does, we'll trap this this uh, woolly critter, pull all this stuff back, and tie this in. All right, so then we take some bad pair of scissors. You don't really have to worry about the uh, 
the wire kind of sticking on this side because nothing's really going to hit that. Pull this back, kind of just clean up the stuff. Alright. And you can whip finish. Do once, do twice, do three times, whatever you feel. And that is the stunner shrimp.